Bruce Lee played many legendary roles, which captivated audiences around the globe. His true life itself also fascinated many writers. Author Matthew Pauley wrote a new book about a martial arts master and actor, titled Bruce Lee Alive. When I was a skinny, bullied 12-year-old, I first saw Enter the Dragon, and I wanted to be Bruce Lee. He was the coolest, toughest guy I'd ever seen on screen. I'd never seen a kung fu movie, and so I was super excited to start learning martial arts. He inspired me, as he did millions of others, to take up kung fu and learn the martial arts and learn more about Chinese culture. Inspired by the Kung Fu master, Holy wanted to highlight the importance of his life to American audiences. When Bruce Lee died, he wasn't famous in the West, he was only famous in Southeast Asia. So all the books that came afterwards sort of spread the mythology of who Bruce Lee was. And my book is an attempt to find the man buried beneath the legend. And so I ended up spending seven years researching it. I talked to over a hundred people who knew Bruce Lee, or friends, colleagues, family members, to find out who Bruce Lee was as a human being, what motivated him. So it's a much more human and holistic portrait of who he was. Um, sometimes stories conflict, and so I tried to find someone who was actually at the event. For example, he had a boxing match when he was 18. There's one story that he knocked the guy out in 20 seconds, um, but I found somebody who said it took all three rounds. He won, but it was more difficult. Uh, sometimes you don't know, and so you just go with your best judgment. Um, I generally find that the more human story, the one with flaws, tends to be the true one, and the one that makes him look like a superhero tends to be the one that's false. Poli has always taken an interest in Kung Fu and martial arts. He also wrote American Shaolin, published in 2007, which is about his life with Shaolin monks in China. I loved uh, Taoism, and I, I fell in love with the philosophers Lao Tzu and Zhuangzi when I was in college. And of course, I loved Chinese martial arts from Bruce Lee, and then of course, all the Hong Kong movies. Uh, and so that really was my inspiration, and it, it drove me to go to the Shaolin Temple and learn more about Chinese culture, and I find it utterly fascinating. I think um, growing up in the Midwest, I understood a lot of things about Chinese culture, like the need to save face, the need to be polite and respectful, um, and so I felt, I felt at home there, and so China to me is like my second home. Paul's book is now available online and in select bookstores. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Chu Xuanlu.